Happy Thanksgiving. It's such an incredible day. There's all kinds of food. I don't know about you, but I'll be running a turkey trot today to get ready to eat all that food and turkey and sweet potatoes and pumpkin pie and watch some football and maybe even get in a nap. Thanksgiving is such an incredible holiday that we celebrate here in the United States. But there's a reason we celebrate it. You know, recently I was at a fancy restaurant and friends of ours had taken us there and they had mentioned to me that I might need a jacket and I didn't, of course, bring one. And we went in and when you go to a restaurant that's really fancy that they require a jacket, it's it's a pretty snooty place. Well, when I went in there, I was dressed, I thought, fairly nicely and the uh, person at the front door said, sir, um, you actually need to wear jacket to come into the restaurant and I'm like I'm sorry I just don't have one with me and he says well we'll provide one for you and he went back into a back room pulled out a jacket and put it on me now it didn't necessarily fit me very well and I don't know that it looked very good but it allowed me to come into the restaurant to eat you know Thanksgiving is a lot like that it's it's that day every year where we're reminded that we really need to be people of thanksgiving. We need to give thanks. That's the, it's when we give thanks that we're really able to enter into the presence of God. It's interesting when you read the Bible in Philippians, says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all, of his, all he's done. He has done so much in our life. You know, in Psalms, it says this, Psalms 104, it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. You know, it's a constant reminder to me that when I'm going through difficult times in life and when things are just, there, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot to be thankful for, there always is. It really is an attitude, and the Bible says that we are to clothe ourselves. When we enter into the presence of God, we are to clothe ourselves with thanksgiving. Don't worry about anything. Boy, that's a a difficult thing to do. It's difficult to give thanks when what you're looking at is, is, and what's right in front of you is scary and you, you don't know what might happen or what might take place and, or maybe things aren't going quite as you would hope. You're, you're seeing your children just go through all kinds of hell. Maybe you're facing a physical condition and, and you don't have a good report. It is difficult to be thankful, to give thanks. You know, the Bible says that we shouldn't be thankful for the attacks the enemy brings against us. It says we should be thankful that we're not alone in those attacks. We should be thankful that God has given us promises to stand on and a hope to live in and a hope to walk with. And so I want to encourage you this Thanksgiving to clothe yourself with a thankful heart, a thankful attitude, and not just to uh, be thankful for all of the things we have, but be thankful that God is with us, His presence is with us, to be thankful that God has given us eternal life, to be thankful that God has provided for us every time. You know, when you Uh, turn your attention from what isn't going well and you turn your attention from the things that are trying to rob from you joy and peace and you turn your attention to God and you begin to be grateful for his presence in your life you'll discover that your problems won't have quite the hold on you uh, that they once did thankfulness when we begin to declare our thanks when we give thanks And we begin to declare our thanks to the Lord for his presence, for his promises, for his faithfulness, for his love, and for the peace that he will give. When we turn our attention to him and that, we'll be able to live in faith, knowing that God is going to take care of everything that we walk through or in everything we face and every battle that we fight. And so I want to encourage you this Thanksgiving holiday, don't let it be just one day out of your 
your year. And then we rush into Black Friday and we lose all of our peace and thankfulness and, and all of that stuff and on Friday and then by Sunday we're frazzled because we because we were we're fighting with people all week long to get something that we desired. Rather, let's thank God every single day. You know, even in days, we, we often think there are bad days and there are good days. Really, in every day, there are bad things that happen and there are great things that happen. And if we're going to be successful in life, if we're going to walk successfully, we have to learn to be people that know how to clothe ourselves in thanksgiving. That when people bless us and they serve us, we give them thanks. In every situation, we can find reasons and we can find attitudes in which we give thanks to people around us. And when you become a thanksgiving person, it's incredible how not only will your atmosphere change of what happens in your life, people will become far more grateful for you as well. Because you do reap what you sow. It's a funny thing how if you just sow a little bit of thanksgiving, we just give a little bit of thanks, you can reap a whole lot of gratefulness back to you. And we all love it when people are grateful for us. We're all, we all love it when people are thankful for what we do in their life. We want people to notice when we do something. And, and when we see uh, something that is done for us, the way we show them our appreciation is by giving them thanks, by just saying thank you. So when someone does something for you this weekend, maybe this Thanksgiving day, this holiday can be a turning point in our life where we we begin to clothe ourselves with an attitude of giving thanks. We look for ways in which to show thankfulness to the people around us. And you'd be shocked. You'll be amazed when you begin to do that, how your world will open up and how you begin to walk in places you've never been before of gratitude, of gratefulness, where people are returning it to you, but doors will open up because when you begin to thank people for what they're doing, they go the extra mile to bless your life. I, and that includes even with the kingdom of God and with our Father in heaven. When you begin to thank him and you begin to notice what he's doing in your life and you begin to give value to what he's been doing in your life rather than value value to the one who's trying to destroy your life, you will be amazed at how much God, how much more God will pour into your life. So this holiday, it may not be your favorite holiday of the year. Maybe it is. For a lot of people, it is. But don't let it be your favorite holiday because of the food and the football games and the fact that the next day is a shopping day, the greatest shopping day of all. Let it be the greatest holiday that you have in your life because it's a day where you recognize thankfulness and, and becoming a thanksgiving person. God bless you. I hope that you have an incredible day. Hopefully you're able to spend it with family and friends and you're going to have a time of rest. I pray that God would give you incredible rest on this day. But before this day ends, maybe even before the day starts, I would encourage you on this Thanksgiving holiday, even before you, you eat, to stop and to and give attention to the one who's provided it all to us. That we truly get to celebrate this holiday and with the blessing of food and everything we're going to do because God's blessed us with our family, our friends, our food, and just the, the prosperity that, that we're currently living in. God bless you. Have a great day. And remember to be thankful.